So uh, today I'm going to show you what the Ubuntu phone looks like on my Nexus 4. So uh, this is the lock screen, which uh, they are calling the welcome screen. Uh, you can see right here, uh, you could get uh, notifications of how many tweets you get. And depending on how many you have, the background changes colors and size. So uh, that's really nice. So yeah, most of the features are uh, are not working right now. They're just uh, dummies like fake contacts and stuff like that. So yeah, so uh, to exit the lock screen, you can swipe from uh, right here from the left, or you can open an app by opening the launcher right there. Uh, let's swipe, and you get to the home screen right there. And here uh, you can see the most used apps, your favorite people, recent music, videos popular online. And uh, if you swipe to the left, you can see people, all your contacts, your favorites. You can look at your uh, favorites right there. You can see uh, the phone number, email. You can go back right there. Music, featured music. Take a look at that. New releases. Uh, I think you would be able to buy music right there. So yeah, they're not working right now. So if we swipe to the other side, you can see uh, all the apps you have installed and the ones you can download, which uh, you can't download any right now. And on the far right, you can see uh, videos which uh, some of them work, I think. So yeah, uh, movies you could rent. Alright, um, I saw a working video, I don't know where. Maybe here? I don't know, most of these don't work. They're just uh, images. Okay, so yeah, these are the main panels that you can navigate to in the home screen. Um, yeah, so to access your apps, you just swipe right here and you get these, uh, this bar with all the apps, which is really nice actually. Uh, you can go home right there or you can open an app, for example, Note, Notepad right there. Um, you can tap and to write on your note. The, the keyboard right now is very basic. Um, you can get rid of the keyboard by swiping down. And we can go home by swiping fast right there. Uh, what else? So yeah, if we uh, open another app, for example, most of the apps are just links to the browser. For example, Facebook. Uh, it's just a browser. I think my battery is about to die. Yeah, 19%. Um, yeah, let's go back. Oh yeah, so if we want to go back to that app, we can swipe right there from the right. Oh, look at that, huge bug. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Um, yeah, it's not working. There we go. You can go back to all the apps you have open and cycle between them. So yeah, um, let's open another one. Let's see the gallery app, which is really nice actually. This is a picture I just took of my bed. But if we open that picture, there's no pinch to zoom yet. You can double tap. Let's look at the image. Let me go back to notes. Uh, Facebook yeah you can cycle between them um, yeah so if you want to open a menu you swipe from the bottom and you get the uh, I don't think you can see it right there just uh, the menu you see it says rotate 
and we'll do damage. But uh, if you swipe all the way up, you get this cool menu. Um, so it's basically the settings for all the apps you have open. So for the gallery app, you can delete the image, you can share the image, uh, do all these different uh, configurations. Uh, these buttons don't work yet. You can close the app right there. That's the only way I found out uh, that you can close an app right now. So yeah, if um, we want to go to the notepad settings, we can create a new note, delete the note. We can go to the brightness settings, sound settings. Uh, it's really quick and nice. I really like this. And here on the bottom, you can search inside the app or uh, do a voice search, which is not working. I think it just does. Yeah, it just makes a random search. Quit. You can quit the application right there. So that's nice. Uh, let's go back and uh, what else? Yeah, here on top you get uh, all your settings. So if you swipe down, uh, you can see your battery. If you go to the left, networks, you can connect to the Wi Fi right now. Um, sound, all your sound settings, swipe messages. Uh, all the way to the right, your date and time with uh, your calendar events, which is really nice. You can't change anything right now. It's just uh, a developer preview to see how it works. So the camera is working. What well, was working? Now that I'm trying to show you, it doesn't work. Let's see, let's exit the app and try to open it again. There we go. Camera. Takes a while. Yeah, it's not working. Oh well. It used to work before. I don't know why it's not working right now. Um, so yeah, you can see all the running apps right here on your home screen, which is really nice. It's like uh, basically what multitasking looks like right here so yeah you can cycle right there you can uh, choose the app you have open or you can just open a new app right there or swipe right here from the right so if you go to the music app for example uh, it's not working it's just an image of how it would look like I mean it looks really nice but you can't really see the same thing as for uh, where is it? the calculator they're just uh, images you can't do anything if you swipe from the bottom, you can't do anything else well. You can just get nothing. Uh, the browser is working though. So once you open it, you go to the Ubuntu uh, website. You can browse right there. Here, Pinch to Zoom works. Uh, it's really fast and smooth actually. Well, now that I'm talking, it's just how oh, I opened the new link. That's why. Uh, if you swipe right there, if you swipe up, you can uh, enter a new link on the bottom. Well, now it's not working. What? Yeah, so it's really buggy right now. So basically, you can't use it for anything. So um, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.